Hey everybody, it's Annette Green here with something very different than what you're used to seeing from me. It's not Graphic 45 today. It is an Aviator's, Aviator's Flight Logbook. A longtime friend, my friend Sarah, who uh, we were friends before we married our husbands. Uh, our husbands knew each other before we did. And um, Sarah is a pilot. She was in the Air Force. She flew big giant planes and thought for her birthday, which is um, the 30th, I believe, I thought that I would honor the woman in flight and the accomplishment that she had by making her a little flight log book so she could take it on her plane and she could log in all her little flights. So I'll talk about everything that went into this in just a minute, but I'll just kind of flip it around and give you a little look real quick. It's, it's a simple one because she's hopefully going to actually use it. So no fancy things hanging off of it, no pockets, no tags, no nothing. Just, just a very functional little book. And she can take these out and change them out or add more if she likes. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. And it was super fun to make. Okay, let's take a closer look at the details. Um, before I even start, I just want to say that uh, I had several forms of inspiration. So this is the Eileen Hull wrapped journal die that Ginger Rop, my sister scrapper, my buddy, my sister in scrapping, uh, she made this for the retreat. And so that started the inspiration to make a little travel uh, sized wrapped journal. And then, um, of course, Eileen Hull's wonderful dies and Nick the Booksmith. I love that girl. I want to meet her someday. Uh, she is a great inspiration. If you have not heard of her, you need to go check her out. I'm going to put her uh, link to her YouTube channel in the description below so you guys can go check her out. But she makes the most amazing books and she uses all this vintage imagery and she's just a huge inspiration to me. So uh, thank you to all those people for all these wonderful things. So here's the die I was talking about, Eileen Hull with Sizzix, and it's called the Wrap Journal. Uh, so it's a really big die, and, and it's longer than 12 inches. So you have to find something other than like 12 inch scrapbook paper when you're going to cut it. So I have used for my journal cover Craftex. If you haven't heard of Craftex, it's pretty amazing stuff. Here's a roll of it. Um, I get this on Amazon. You can get it just about anywhere. Craft text. And it comes in different colors. But it's, it's really cool because it's kind of like paper, but it doesn't, it doesn't tear. Like you can try to rip it all you want, but it does not tear. So it's very great for books, spines, things like that that you really want to stand up to the test of time. So, like I said, my, my journal, this is how it looks when you cut it out. Now I've added a bunch of papers to it. And I've already put my um, elastic in there. But basically, it's one big die cut like this. And it's got the holes in it already for your little uh, elastic. And then uh, I use some various images from the internet. So that's the next thing. And this is what Nick the Booksmith does a lot of. Uh, she grabs... She makes her own, too. But she grabs images off the internet, like the Graphics Fairy. I'll put that link, too. Uh, and gets these great images uh, and then uses them in her books and stuff. So that's kind of what I've done. I've gone and basically, like you know, I wanted to focus on um, aviation, flying, but vintage, and girls, you know, because my friend is a, she's a pilot and she's a girl and she built her own plane. So, um, you know, it's it's going to be a very functional, usable album. So, I just wanted to make her a little travel log that she could really use. So I, I found this line paper and I added uh, these little headers and the, the column bars here to the paper and then printed it out and uh, of course printed it double sided, inked all the edges. This is just printer paper and I made all the little pages. All right, so the pages measure, I'm going to cheat here. The little pages measure six and a half by four and a quarter. So six and a half, four and a quarter. And then of course they fold in half at three and a quarter. So I just cut a bunch of those. You know, I planned it all out on the computer, printed them out and 
did that with several styles of papers. This one has a grid on one side and lines on the other, and then just stacked them all up. And, and hopefully my friend Sarah will use this for real, like put the date in and put the, you know, she was the pilot, of course, and where she went and who were her passengers and the time it took and any remarks she wants to make. I found that actually uh, when I was searching for these images like this. I found an old aviator's flight log in here somewhere and just kind of recreated it with my own type and, and whatnot. So yeah, you can see here, here's some vintage imagery I found just all over the internet. Maps, just really some cool things. I do have a, I think they call it a premium membership with the Graphics Fairy. So I pay um, a yearly fee, I believe it is. And then I have like all kinds of access to all these great things. So I will use them a lot. So there's that, that's how that goes. And then uh, the covers to my little signatures that are going into the album. These guys are just cut from some, I believe this is Tim Holtz, old memorandum card, uh, card stock, paper pad, whatever you call it. Uh, the covers measure six and three quarters by four and a half. So they're a little bit bigger than their little pages. Okay, and all these little signatures are going to get slid, slid, going to get slid. They're going to get slided. I don't know. They're, I'm going to slide them under there to make this little book. So I have done some of these already. I have little clips on them to keep them closed. And just to sort of reinforce their little spines so that, you know, by sliding them in and out a lot, they don't get torn up. Uh, because once you score this and you start folding it, it almost feels like it wants to tear. So I reinforced it with some some pretty washi. I think this is some Prima washi I've had for a while. And I ran that along the back and the front in there, inside, before I stapled this. And it's super easy. I just took the pages and the cover and I put little clips just to kind of hold them in place for a while. And then I took my big old stapler and then just reached on in there and put two staples. Okay, so that one isn't done yet, but these three are, and this is kind of what they're looking like. There's that one, that one, and this one. Cute, right? So I did find some, some imagery that I glued to the inside front cover. But you can see these are very simple. There's not like little pullouts and little tags and side pockets and all that. It's just pretty basic. I want it to be functional. Her plane is very small. So she can't have the little dangly things hanging off of this thing. She's probably going to have to throw it into a little compartment um, when she's not using it. So I just don't want to have it have, you know, all these things hanging off of it and it being really fancy. Okay, so I glued that in there and I put my little staples there and they come through to the back. Oops, I forgot the washi on this one. So I'm gonna add that in just a minute. But these are gonna slide into my album right down the centers of the signatures where the staples are. So these slide right in here. I'm gonna work from the back to the front By the way, this elastic, after I trimmed it, uh, it kind of frays. So I used a little bit of fray check. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but I use that a lot of times on ribbon edges and twine and stuff so that it does not fray over time. All right, well, for right now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna slide this in here, but I am gonna go back and add washi to that one. But I just want to get all these in here so you can see. This was very fun to make. I've been working on it all day. <laughs> because we're going to dinner tonight with, with Sarah and her husband. And I want to have it done and ready. Okay, so there it be. See how cute? Super cute. Now, I do have these little things over here that I'm going to add here and there. Um, a little note from me at the in the back. It's her birthday, so... 
I want to say a little something there, but you can see I added paper strips to these little spine areas here just to kind of keep it, you know, not looking too plain on the edges. And I did just like Ginger taught me, I put two magnets under here and there's two over here. So it's magnetized. And so what's going to happen on the front here, I've got this all ready to go. See all the foam tape on the back? This is a piece of cardboard. And then I found this great image, Aviator's Flight Logbook. Isn't that perfect? So I am going to stick that like right there in the middle. All right, I'm going to do it off camera because I don't want it to be crooked. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that's just too much pressure. So um, cute, right? But it, it's sort of blank right in the middle. So I found, um, I had one of these in my stash, this little metal, like brass, little baby. And then I also had one of these compasses, which is, uh, oh, it's, it's sticking to the magnet. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that down with some metal glue right in the middle. And then I've got this great little airplane. This was a charm and I cut off the little, um, you know, the charm dangle thing. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, maybe, I'm gonna stick that right there with some metal glue so that you have something to pull on to open the album. Otherwise you have to kinda, you know, go like this. So I think it'd be cute if that was on there real secure. So that's really uh, it. I'm gonna glue that on and then I'm gonna say goodbye. Okay, I've got the metal on there. Hopefully it's dry enough for me to show you a few things I wanted to mention. One was, this is what I now use for metal. It's by Beacon. I love Beacon. I use Fabri-Tac by Beacon. I use 3-in-1 by Beacon. And now I've discovered PowerTac. It's like their equivalent to E6000 without the stink, without the smell, the fumes. It's wonderful and it works really fast. So I, I glued these down with that glue, and, and that's going to be my metal go-to glue from here on out. It's awesome. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is these little rounded corners on the paper everywhere throughout. Because the die has rounded corners to, um, you know, the actual album and the little page inserts. So uh, sometimes it's hard to find, like, a circle, I mean, a, a corner radius that will go within the radius already of uh, the die and I I love this punch I've talked about this punch before it's from Japan there's the name I don't want to murder it Kadomaro Kadomaro Pro okay uh, anyway it's got a large a medium and a small uh, corner rounder which is great if you're wanting to nest corners on papers so photo mats stuff like that it's great so I highly recommend that that's awesome also, a little detail that I did not have in here and I added was, let me see if I can find them. I stapled those little uh, like air show tickets. They're real cute. Oh, here they are. So these little air show tickets. So see the little, um, this little edge here that looks like a ticket. So, I mean, they were printed like that, but I had to cut them out and, you know, I'm not going to be crazy and go in there and cut all those little waves with scissors. So, um... I just use these like backwards because they're they're scallop scissors and you get two in a pack and you can find them at Walmart and of course your craft stores. These are Fiskars for Teresa Collins. You get two in a pack. <laughs> so I use the bigger ones when I have bigger postage stamps and I use the smaller ones for smaller ones. And because it's a scallop cut, I just, like I said, turn the scissors the other way to make that, um, where'd she go? to make that oh there to make that inverted scallop shape so pretty handy i love i love sharing that because you can get those anywhere they're great okay that's it for me today just a real quick little project you could do this with any paper it doesn't have to be a little flight log book like this it can be anything at all it'd be a sweet little mini album with any papers um, that's the beauty of Eileen's dies. So uh, check it out. Go get one. Have some fun with it. And thank you for popping in and taking a look. Thank you, Nick the Booksmith. I love you. Thank you, Eileen Hull, for this wonderful die. And uh, Ginger for the idea. Just thank you guys all for watching today. I really appreciate it. Um, hope to see you again soon. Bye.